have a date with uh, Dr. Terramina. So I hope he brought me flowers. There are a few things you are going to need the day of your procedure. Make sure to bring your insurance card and some form of ID. Make sure you dress in comfortable clothes, something with a stretchy band. You're not going to want to be dealing with buttons after you have a colonoscopy and have been knocked out. And last, make sure you have a driver because they won't let you leave if you don't have someone else driving you. So whether it's the person that takes you or somebody comes back and picks you up, make sure you have a driver. and I have checked in to Midwest GI. I've got my sexy gown, um, my warm blanket, and my IV, so now I'm just waiting to go into my colonoscopy. I have signed a lot of papers, uh, but I didn't have to answer as many questions because I did my paperwork ahead of time, and I took their phone calls when they called me, so make sure to answer the phone uh, when they call you earlier in the week so that you can get your questions answered and your process is quicker this morning. I go to Midwest GI because I honestly would not trust anyone else to do my colonoscopy. Um, I've been a patient for 10 years and I feel like their doctors are not only very thorough, very aggressive in their treatment approaches, but they're also very nice. Um, the staff is caring and they've got great bedside manner and it's a comfortable facility that makes it very easy for me to get a colonoscopy. I'm Dr. Terramina. We're going to be doing a colonoscopy today. Well, it's important for screening for colorectal cancer and looking for pre-malignant polyps. So our goal in the examination is to look for polyps that are potentially malignant or pre-malignant. <laughs> you will really love this drug. All the way. Yeah. Ready to go? Yeah, I am so ready. I'm still a little groggy, um, but I think the cool thing is that right when I went under, I looked at the clock and it was 8.30, and I'm looking and it's 9 o'clock, so that went really fast, and I'm already awake and kind of coming to, uh, things are still kind of fuzzy, but I remember several people coming in and out, which is a good sign, and I've got some juice, so they're taking care of me. Well, after the procedure, the doctor is going to come in and talk to you about your particular colonoscopy. He's going to show you pictures and explain if you found a polyp or anything like that, he will explain it. If you did have a polyp removed or anything like that, make sure to follow the instructions and call for your lab results. That's going to be really, really important for you to do. The thing that people really need to know is that colon cancer is a preventable cancer. Colon cancer is the most treatable cancer, it's the most beatable cancer, and that is because of the colonoscopy procedure. Because if you have a colonoscopy and you find a precancerous uh, polyp or anything like that, you can remove that and reduce your risk of cancer. And so that's why it's critical that people have a colonoscopy to find out if anything's going on and then rule out anything if it's not. Hey everyone, well it's me and I survived my colonoscopy. I'm really alert, I'm getting ready to walk to my car and then I feel like I can have a good day after this. Um, I had great news, my colonoscopy was um, totally clear so that is a huge plus 
and I hope just by watching my experience you see that colonoscopies really aren't that bad, they really aren't that scary, and that anyone really can do this.